Uh, I'm supposed to be an expert in immuno response, but the, the truth is that I only know very basic uh, uh, information about that. I'm just the witness of what happened in our series, a treated patient with pancreatic cancer, and so this is just a sort of uh, a retrospective analysis. Uh, what we are... Oh. Okay, so the ASCOPO effect. It is the action of logotherapy upon distant out of field foci of tumors. As you can see here, this is a picture that's been taken by the, the web. There's a, an, an X ray generator that will uh, treat in, uh, tumor cells that will be changed and that will be uh, expressing the uh, antigen in the surface. That we activate the CD8 that will uh, go elsewhere, uh, killing other uh, cells. Um, tumor cells. So uh, the relationship within radiation therapy immune response is very well known. As they assess in this uh, review paper, uh, there is a more systemic effect and the less local cell kills per cycle during chemotherapy than during radiation therapy. They may be more effective in uh, producing the uh, sort of tumor-associated antigens. So the cell uh, that will be killed by a local therapy, I may say any kind of local therapy, may deliver a huge amount of tumor antigens in different forms and size uh, to the system, and they may act as tumor antigens and may, I mean, help or actually avoid the need for an, an exogenous delivery of antigens as it happens during the vaccination. The uh, relationship between thermal ablation and immune response is controversial. As you can see, very recently has been published a paper who advocating the uh, thermal ablation has responsible for uh, tumor growth elsewhere uh, during the thermal ablation liver mats. However, cryo, um, cryoablation may induce a much greater post ablative immune response than radiofrequency ablation and microwaves. And this is probably because two reasons. The hyperthermia based methods may increase protein de denaturation. So in some way, it will reduce the number of intact antigens that will be exposed by the cells. And the heat may cause the tissue coagulation. They will reduce the amount of intracellular content that will be spilled into the bloodstream for CD8 activation. So uh, as you know, uh, the, um, uh, the HIFU energy may be active to the tumor thanks to three main uh, phenomena. One is the heating, thermal ablation. Then we have coagulation necrosis due to the, uh, I mean, ischemic reaction for the coagulation of very small uh, for very small vessels. Then we have cavitation, uh, cavitation according to the very high level of energy delivered into the tumor. So, uh, looking at the literature, I found this very interesting review that's been published in 2014, and it was uh, uh, collecting data for many different papers with the same goal. It was just to assess the pain, uh, pain relief in patients who had uh, high food for pancreatic cancer. But if you look at, um, oh, pardon me, there's a pointer, or is it here? If you look at, um, in the um, in a part of the paper, they uh, I mean underlined the increase of immunofactors almost in all patients that, uh, that were treated with the uh, HIFU, uh, CD8, CD4, and natural killers. So this is our experience. So we started treating pancreatic cancer in 2008 with the uh, ultrasound gathering machine coming from China. Uh, we treated 72 patients. Most of them had uh, adenocarcinoma, and the majority was, of course, on the head. Uh, they were huge lesion. Most of them were stage four. I'm, I, I may say, I mean, we treat the patient have been excluded by a resection or a retreatment with radiation therapy, and the patient who had chemotherapy with no uh, response. Uh, this is an example. This is a general surgeon that uh, uh, had a huge lesion that was not amenable for being uh, resected. The patient had a standard treatment, so there was a, a carboplatin together with the gencetamine. As you can see, I'm following the patient had an increase of the tumor. Uh, 
So they go for the second line with Fulfill. It was June 2014, huge lesion here. And this is a CT scan that's been done the day after HIFU. You can see the lesion was much bigger, but it was necrotic due to the HIFU. Look at what happened. This is the same CT of the same date, uh, day, uh, the huge lymphatic metastasis in the retroperitoneal space. So what happened after that? The patient uh, still had fulfilling, but it uh, will stop fulfilling in January. He doesn't, uh, I mean, respond only at the T, but even on the lymph nodes. And this is January 2015. This is April 2016. In uh, July, the patient had a, a PET scan. The patient is, this is free. So some results, very briefly. Uh, we had 100% technical society in all our series. One complication due to the complete portal thrombosis. The patient uh, needed um, th uh, two weeks of admission in the hospital. Um, the objective response was 64% according to uh, CT, MRI, and PET. This is control 90%. The pain palliation was good in the majority of our patients. Four patients had shrinkage of distant tumors, so we had four abscopal effects. In all our series since 2009, we used to inject um, uh, ultrasound contrast media during the treatment in order to enhance the mechanical uh, ablation more than thermal ablation. This is another patient, a huge lesion in the head uh, involving the bile duct. That's the reason why the patient had metallistan here. The patient had two lines of chemo when uh, she was referred to me. Uh, this is the necrotic uh, reaction after uh, the, uh, the hypo treatment. And here you can see the lymph node that a few months later shrank uh, it was very distant from the uh, side of the uh, primary tumor treatment. In conclusion, as you can see, I mean, HIFU is a safe and feasible approach for treating Parkinson's cancer, both for the backing and palliative purposes. Data coming from the pancreatic series are very promising for upgrading this treatment in the future as a clinical option therapy, not only for local, but even for systemic response, if, be, be, thanks to the ascopal effect that can be achievable with a HIFU. The immunocheckpoint uh, activation requires fragmented proteins, not coagulated. So this is the reason why we think that mechanical ablation cavitation should be preferred to thermal ablation. Um, however, more data about the immunological reaction after HIFU should be collected in, uh, I may say, dedicated registry. Thank you for your attention.